another custom build by Haste Repair Group. This one is in a nice looking little mini ITX case. And here inside we have an ASUS Prime B350M-E motherboard hosting a AMD Ryzen 7 7100X CPU, 8 core, 16 thread. There we have an MSI Aero GTX, uh, GeForce GTX 1070 graphics card. And some XPG Gamix D10 DDR4 3000 MHz RAM. On the top I.O. we have USB 3.0, 2.0 SD card reader, which is kind of cool. Microphone and headphone in and out. And taking a look at the other plastic window, we have another look at the RAM, the rear exhaust fan. There's the Hyper 212, Cooler Master, CPU, and heat sink fan combo. Always I find to be very effective. Also for storage, we have a 200 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive for Windows 10 boot drive, 128 gigabyte Samsung PM871 SSD, and for games, a 512 gigabyte KingFast SSD. On the rear I.O. of the GTX 1070, we have a uh, 3x display port, HDMI, and DVI. On the rear I.O. of the motherboard, we have old style PS2 mouse and keyboard, 4x USB 3.0, USB. I'm not too sure what that color is actually. RJ45 Ethernet port, audio in and out. And here we have Skater XL running a solid 60 frames per second on ultra graphic settings. Here's the elusive kickflip to manual as made famous by Chris Roberts on the Night Club. And we have Dead by Daylight coming in at 60 frames per second, average on ultra graphic settings. This game looks really nice. And we have Back for Blood running again at a solid 60 frames per second on high graphic settings. Uh, I should note I did not increase the frame rate for these games because of the monitor I was playing on. And here is the Rise of the Tomb Raider benchmark. An older but still really good looking game with the right hardware. There's the results. And the Unigine uh, superposition benchmark on 1080p high graphic settings. Believe it or not, this is still a budget build put together by me. Mix of used and new hardware. So thanks a lot for watching.